There are so many horror movies with evil Santas. My favorite is uh, Santa's Slay, starring Bill Goldberg as Santa. That is a great movie. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. I'm not kidding. If you haven't seen it, watch that movie. It's Bill Goldberg as evil, murderous Santa. Okay, I can skip this text. That's right, Slay is spelled S-L-A-Y. Uh, let's see, I needed to find the bags with the cards. And cards with headshots. Oh, no, not there. There. Okay, that's three. Oh, Santa with Muscles is an amazing movie. It's not a horror movie like Santa's Slay, but it is fascinating. No, don't want to look at that yet. Don't uh, don't need to. Right, Jumpy and June's cards all together, both together. Let's see, were there any cards along here? No, apparently not. That door can't open yet. So that's right, there was a box right here. With Ace's card, that gives us eight, so I need to find number nine. Yeah, I remember that. Santa's sleigh being referenced in Ernest Saves Christmas. That was the name of the horror movie that was being made, and the real Santa Claus was just so upset that they were making a movie like that. And then years later, there actually was a movie called Santa's Slay. Would you believe it? Let's see. Look at the blue boxes. Okay. So, yeah, there was one right there. Hmm? What's this? Ace is not offering... Well, he didn't offer to do it the first time, but we forced him to do it. It looks like this is new. I'm not sure what's uh, causing these differences in dialogue. Aside from that one thing with Lotus in which it was clear why uh, that was different. Okay, nine pins. And we have to go back up for our favorite part of the game. Yes, almost, well, almost time for the Pushmaster 5000. We are not quite there yet. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's right, we had to light up two numbers at a time. And, okay, I guess that didn't add up to anything. I just was picking them in order. Alright, so let's get one first. For, let's see, one, we need ten. Uh, so, to get one, we need five and four and one. Then to get two, uh, we would need eleven. So two and three and six. There we go. Um, I might, I wouldn't be opposed to help for the pushmaster once we get to that. This I probably can do okay. Uh, so now I need twelve, which is going to be let's see, uh, six and five and one. 
And then to get 14, I want 13, which is going to be 7 and 4 and 2. Okay. Uh, let's see, 5. We want 14. Let's see, so 7 and 3 and 4. And then 6. Gonna want uh, 15. So. 9 and 5 and 1. Okay. Now we need 7 and 8. Which is gonna be. Uh, let's see, 7 of course is 16. So. 8. And uh, 5 and 3. Okay. Uh, Ernest Goes to Jail is the one where he gets electro powers. He fires electricity out of his fingers. In jail. He also becomes magnetic. He can't control that, though. He can only control his electricity powers, which he only has for a short amount of time, unfortunately. Ernest Goes to, Ernest goes to Jail. One of... Uh, it's an American classic. Really. They, teach, they, they show it... Uh, mandatory viewing in, in film school. Jim Varney, underappreciated in his time. Okay, so, for, uh, let's see, number seven. So, now we got number seven, we want to get number eight. Um, number eight, let's see, so we want 17. Okay, okay. So, nine. Uh, four. Oh, wait, no, um. No, not four, not four. Seventeen, so I'm going to want nine. And then... Six. And then two. There we go. It's not that I know everything. It's just, you know, everyone should know about the Ernest series. It's an American treasure. Um, every, it, should, it should be common knowledge. You know, I should be able to just ask you, what's your favorite Ernest movie? And you answer immediately. You know. You don't have to think about it. You already knew. Okay. I mean, my favorite was Ernest Goes to Camp, but I think that's just uh, for emotional value, because I, I saw that as a kid. I don't know if it's technically the best of the Ernest movies, but that was my favorite. Um, okay, so, yeah, this one, I do think, if someone can tell me what numbers went where, because I forget. I don't remember. I think five went in the middle. Just like Jumpy. 816. Three, five, seven. Four nine two, and now that activates the Pushmaster five thousand. Ernest scared stupid, not bad, but I think I would put that. I think I would put that uh, after goes to camp and goes to jail on my Ernest cannon. Okay, let's see. So you're saying up, right, up, right, right, down, right, down, down, left. Okay, so I guess, uh, honestly, I can't remember at all how to do this. Down, left, left, up, right. Right, down, right, up, left. Okay, that puts that into position. I think there was an Ernest Goes to Africa. I might not have actually have seen that. I have only have a vague memory of it. Left, 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 up, up, right, 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 down, down. That was, I think, near the end of Ernest's career. Left, down, right, left, left, up, left, up, 
up. Right. And I, that, that was really the twilight of Jim Varney's career, I think. And I, I at that point, the Ernest movies really weren't what they used to be. Down, left, down, right, right, right. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Ernest makes a camcorder LP. <laughs> Vern, I'm just having trouble understanding this whole YouTube thing and, and filming myself playing video games. But you see, that's the thing. If, if Ernest was doing uh, an LP of a horror game, he would not be pretending to be scared. Those reactions would be genuine. Alright, we have to go down here. Get on here. Let me get to the coffin. And oh no, there's a gun inside. Ernest goes to Illbleed. That would be perfect, honestly. Illbleed would have been the perfect environment for Ernest. Unfortunately, I don't think there was an Ernest video game. Pretty sure there wasn't. Okay, so that really wasn't painful this time. Well, I mean, that's because of you, because you gave me the answers. Oh, and if, uh, yeah, if Ernest went to Illbleed and then the twist ending is that Michael Reynolds is actually Vern who has come to take his revenge on all of the all of the hassle that Ernest has given him over the years. We found the number 9 doors. And Clover's gone. And the reveal of Vern is kind of like the reveal of Kaiser Soze in The Usual Suspects. Where they, they flash back to a lot of video and audio clips that you've seen throughout the game. And you realize the twist. Ernest also had a Saturday morning show. I watch that every week. I mean, of course, it didn't have the production values of the Ernest movies. But it was still interesting to watch. June's tired of this whole codename business. At least when they're alone. The show did have a lot of him talking to the camera, it's true. They also had a, lo a lot of other skits, though. It wasn't just that. It looks like we're getting a, some significant, a significant new cutscene right here. This is, just not, this is not just a, a little bit of new text in the middle of something else, but this did not happen before. We certainly did not get to see Jumpy's internal monologue on how he felt about calling uh, June by her name. Felt maybe it was too forward to call her Canny. And yeah, new, a new music, new, uh, new soundtrack. I have not been using the screen switching because in the previous times the, st uh, the stream has crashed. It's been when I've done that. So I have not actually been switching screens in the past few streams.
Not sure if we're gonna still have new cut scenery right here. Oh. Maybe a future together after we've gotten out. Oh no, there's nothing here. Oh wait, no, there is something here. He felt his blood turn to ice. Ice nine. It never melts. So when we found Lotus dead in the sub ending, it was with seven. He's not here now, it's just her by herself. So I guess the question we have now is, did Ace kill her? We know Ace is a murderer, but did he do it in this playthrough? It might seem unlikely because Ace needed Lotus to get out. Oh, if he took her bracelet though, then maybe that's it. Because now we know that you can use the bracelets without actually wearing it. <laughs> he has died of natural causes. Hmm, now she was stabbed, not shot. And Ace would have the gun by now. Hmm, so was it Ace? Or could someone else be doing it? Okay, the bracelet's gone. And Ace is the only one, as far as we know, that knows that you can use the bracelet without wearing it. So... Now, that's true, that's right. He did use a knife on Clover. I forgot about that. Yeah, um... Yeah, in the Axe ending, Ace did tell Lotus he wanted her to go with him. Uh, without Jumpy, because he had something he had to show her. So maybe this is what happened when she went off with him. Ah, the person who would gain the most by obtaining Bracelet 8. Well, we know this now, don't we? <laughs> Descriptive. The heat of passion. And in this ending, I guess it's still a mystery as to who the murderer is. In the sub-ending, we see Ace's body, but we don't actually check if he's dead. I think it's only Clover that we check. So it is, it is entirely possible that he was indeed faking it in that ending. Okay, so it doesn't actually show us who it is, but we... They pretty much tell us. Yeah, and that thing about the zero bracelet having the value of six, we still have not seen an answer for that. So, I guess next time we'll find out if we get the true ending. Uh, if in... Hmm? Oh, into zero. If the true ending does address the zero equals six thing... That'll be interesting. Bad end. What? 
Yes, we will save. Okay, so, um... We're actually going to end the stream here, since we did get an ending. It's right there, the fourth ending. It is the end of the stream for today. Now, so next time we play 999, we'll start to the true ending, which everyone has said takes a long time to do. So we might not actually get to it in one stream. It might actually take uh, more than one once we get to that. Hard to say. However, um, that might be in a couple weeks. Next week, I don't know if we're going to be doing 999. And the reason is because I am quite determined now to post the next mode video sometime this week. Uh, I've been putting that off and, I don't know, just procrastinating, I guess. But I'm quite determined to do that. And if I do that, that is the last video of the last stream. Which means that Saturday next week would be a mode stream. So that's the plan for right now. And I should be able to make that happen. So next week, 999, yes. Should be waiting for mode. And it'll be time for the next mode event to see... Whoop, to see just what happens to the party crasher this time. Who can say? So thanks for coming to the stream this week, and I'll see you next time, hopefully for Mode, and then after that, continuing on with to the true ending in 999. I'll see you then.